Hello and welcome back to the mind of Bren Daniel. That's right, we're filled with violent energies, and I'm telling you what cryptids I could definitely beat up. I'm not going to embellish anything here, just like an office from the 80s frozen in a glacier, I'll give you the cold hard facts. I am confident in my fighting abilities, and I've unlocked all the chakra in my body for the most feral, viscous energy I can release. This is rating cryptids by how likely I am to beat them up. The Loch Ness Monster. Sorry, Nessie, but that much neck is a liability in a fight. Sure, you may have a few tons of meat on your bones versus me, but I've been kicked out of a museum or two for doing shadow boxing on a few dinosaurs, and I'm not afraid to grapple you into submission. Nessie also isn't known for violence or for fighting. It's more of a docile creature, so 10 out of 10, I will win this fight. The Chupacabra. I'm not a goat, and no one on the internet is going to call me the goat, so once again, I'm pretty confident that I can fight this dude. Now, it does have the potential to suck all of my bones and meat out of my body, but as long as I can work quick and work sick, then I'll definitely come out on top. I may lose an arm or a leg, but if push comes to shove and some bones get sucked, then strangling the Chupacabra with a leftover sleeve of Brendan meat will get me to where I need to be. 8 out of 10. I could win this one with a wound or two or a bone sucked out. The Abominable Swamp Slob. This dude's name is Ass, and it's my job to kick it. 10 out of 10, I will win this fight. The Dover Demon. Bones like glass, mind like paper. Not worried about this fight in the slightest. I've been watching YouTube videos on Krav Maga, and do you remember that scene in Space Jam? In the Space Jam movie where Wayne Knight's character, he gets turned into a ball by the Monster Squad? It's all over for the Dover. I'm balling him, I'm gonna orb him. 10 out of 10, I will win this fight. The Bunny Man. Dude's in a bunny costume, thinks he's cute because he watched Donnie Darko before anyone else. This guy kills teens, but you know what he hasn't had to go up against? 250 pounds of enraged Iowan meat. A six foot five vortex of depression and anxiety backed into a corner even when the room is round. 10 out of 10, I will win this fight. The Grafton Monster, huge, beefy, massive. A formidable opponent at last. No weapons, just me and the hulking beast out there in the woods. Real life ain't like video games. Real life ain't like Fallout 76, no matter how many bugs I see. I don't know if I can win this one. Confidence can only bring you so far in a fight. Technique and skill will also only bring you so far when the brutal hulking mass comes knocking on your ass. Two out of 10, I think I'm losing this one. The Cactus Cat, a fearsome critter more than a cryptid. This guy just likes to drink and chill out. That'll be his downfall. I'm not gonna poison his wine or anything, but I'll go shot for shot and punch for punch. I may end up with a few scratches and gashes, but that cactus is getting pulped. Nine out of 10, I will win, but with some minor damage. The Jersey Devil. I don't care how much mystical energy or how much power Satan gives you. I have faced far worse fears and I have fought harder battles. I will rip and rend and tear as much as you can, and I will not be afraid of some bat monstrosity from Jersey of all places. The finish is going to look like a glory kill from Doom 2016 with how much gore and miasma I'll be spreading. And the wings are just a liability. You think flying can save you from the beam attack I've been practicing? They don't call me the anti-air just because I'm bad at basketball. 10 out of 10, I will win this fight. Spring Heel Jack. Dude has to assault women and parkour across the UK like he's trying to start and end a YouTube career. I'm not afraid of some guy who jumps real good. Otherwise, I'd be having night terrors about Mario. I'm not having night terrors about Mario. Anybody who's saying I'm having night terrors about Mario is lying. It's not happening, I promise. 10 out of 10, I will win this fight. The Bassigator. Less human and more roided and noited, the Bassigator fight might be hard for some and a challenge for me, but I've been reading about alligators so much that there are some glowing weak spots that appear in my vision whenever I see one now. Push comes to shove and bass comes to ass, then I might get a bite munched or crunched out of me, but I'm not letting anything from Florida take me down. Six out of 10, I'll win but by the skin of my teeth. The Alien Cosmonaut. Poke a hole in his spacesuit by letting my pinky nail grow really, really long. 10 out of 10, I will win this fight. The Baba Yaga. The Baba Yaga itself doesn't pose a challenge. I'll suplex an old woman Leon Kennedy style if it means that I come out victorious, but I'm much more worried about her house. How do you fight a house? Will I have to strategize with termites to try to whittle it down while she casts spells at me at the same time? Can I just go for the tall guy strategy and aim for its knees? What's the DPS output of the Baba Yaga? 
I could avoid the stomping, but then I would just end up with a spell or hex put on me. Luckily, I have a strategy. You see, I'm already under the influence of a witch's curse, and once under the influence of a witch's curse, you can't be cursed by another witch. I would struggle with the house, but that Yaga would be baba -ed. Seven out of 10. I would win with some minor wounds or maybe even a major one. Maybe she takes a finger, it's fine. The Jackalope. Mystified by the Jackalope, but not intimidated by the Jackalope. If a fight is offered, then a fight has to happen, and the Jackalope is a creature with a lot to prove. However, as a bit of a tryhard myself, I'll make sure to give it a fair fight with no dirty tricks or dastardly diversions. I think it would fight valiantly and effortlessly, but I would be the winner in the eventual scenario. I would offer respect to the Jackalope, but I'm not holding back. Nine out of 10, I would win, but there would be a showing of mutual respect afterwards. Giant Rooster. I've been called many things, and Big Cock is certainly one of them. Chickens are scary, and not like video game chickens, but I have seen a chicken devour a rat whole with no scruples, no problems, and in this scenario, I may in fact be the rat who gets devoured. I don't want to be the horse deserves for a Big Rooster meal. So I'm gonna have to bring this thing down to the mat and take it out as fast as I can. Chickens survive even headless, so I'm looking for kind of a pop in, pop out strategy with this son of a bitch. And I will get it done quick, and I will get it done fast. Eight out of 10, I will win, but with some minor bumps and bruises. The Fresno Nightcrawler. You're telling me that a sentient white pair of pants is roaming Fresno and that they're named like the worms that my grandpa sold from his bait shop? Are you fishing me? I'm putting my whole hand in its mouth if I can find it, and I'm gonna wriggle it around in there until his guts are scrambled. Crazy style. Nine out of 10, I'll win, but it'll be a little gross. The Flatwoods Monster. Same as the alien cosmonaut. Any cryptid that's an alien or some kind of creature in a funny little suit, it's getting punctured. And just to add insult to injury, I'm blowing my hot, wet Iowan gas into the life support tubes. 10 out of 10, I will win this fight. The Enfield Horror. Going to hit this thing with a right until my fists go woke and I start punching with my left. I'm not afraid of horrors beyond my comprehension because I don't comprehend anything every single day of my life. What's it going to do? Horror at me? 10 out of 10. I will win this fight. The Crazy Critter of Bald Mountain. One. One blow to the head. Give this guy some blunt force trauma before going for the neck. Antenna are just there for the stomp assist. There might be some weight into its counterattack if it can even get it off, but I'm going for a certified kill move right off the bat. Nine out of 10. I will win this fight. Maybe a little tougher than I first assumed, but I'll push through it and get it done. Bigfoot. It's like Stone Cold Steve Austin once said. What? Do you think I'm afraid of Bigfoot? Do you think that I'm afraid of some hairy guy whose list of powers are so long and great that it surely has to be bluster? Oh, what's he gonna do? Turn my cell phone off with Bigfoot magic? Try to get me in between those sick grippers of his? All I see are health bars, babe, and this boy is gonna drop some fat loot when I throw him into the mob grinder and smoke him down until he's nothing at all. Bigfoot makes me mad, enraged even. Finding myself outside of lucidity, filled with nothing but venom, vile, and acidity, Bigfoot ain't got a chance. He ain't got nothing on me. 10 out of 10, I will win this fight. I will squash that squatch. Drop bears, what if koalas were evil? You wanna know what's red, green, and smells like eucalyptus? The body's left behind. 10 out of 10, I will win this fight. The Bat Squatch. I am more intimidated by the Bat Squatch than your average Squatch. A worthy foe for me to wet the blade that is my fist on. More violent than your normal Squatch, more deranged. I need an equal, an opponent of high caliber. A fight that I'm not sure that I can win. Five out of 10. It might end up being a draw. The Loveland Frog. I'll pop his head, and it's gonna make the Grump Birthday Party skull sound from Halo. All right? What's a giant frog going to do? Cross the road at me at a ludicrous pace? Call this guy the Bogger, because the swamp's where you'll be looking for his body. Nine out of 10, I will win this fight, but I'm gonna be slimy and gross, so I may have to take some precautions. The Kraken. I'm not a seafaring vessel, and the ocean kinda scares me. Pretty sure I would end up becoming a uh, Bren Drowned. Zero out of 10, I will lose this fight. The Mongolian Death Worm. What's a big worm going to do? Gnaw my bones and wriggle and writhe at me? Try to crush me? I'm a slippery son of a bitch. I've gotten out of a few dangerous situations involving worms, and I was already the kid who ate earthworms to try and get attention. So you think I wouldn't gulp this big boy down with a large barrel of slaw right beside me? I'm not saying that it won't get a few bites in, and if it can launch an attack from the underground, then yeah, I'll have to fight in uncertain terrain. But regardless, a worm is a worm. My motto is no spine, you're all mine. 
Seven out of ten. I would win, albeit with some battle damage. The Yeti. Listen, man, Bigfoot but scarier? I mean, I have really poor circulation, so if this isn't the Yeti from the Goosebumps books in 90 degree weather, I think I'd have to give this one to the Yeti. Under optimal conditions, I could go toe to toe with any great beast, your mom included, but out there in the cold for an extended period of time, it's going to be hard, and I'll probably get some frostbite, but I'm hopeful that I'll be able to kill the Yeti and then slide up inside of there like the Star Wars movie guy did with that creature for warmth. That's right. I'm getting up inside the big wet fursuit, and there's nothing you can do to stop me! 6 out of 10. A hard battle with some major injuries, but a win is a win, and I'm sorry about saying that about your mom. Robert. This is a specific haunted doll, and haunted dolls aren't really cryptids, but I'm putting it in here to make people mad. I mean, I'm going to win, and I'm going to kick the doll really hard in the doll balls and take care of it quick, but also I think the generalization of cryptid or cryptozoology is really funny. We're independent upon the person that you're talking to. Cryptid either means real, lost, or unfindable animals, or creatures that are just supernatural scary thing. I don't have anything important to say on the subject, I just think it's really funny that it gets so divisive and heated. Dude, if Bigfoot can magically turn off cell phones, then I'm calling the haunted doll a cryptid. What if there's flesh inside of it that's making it haunted? What if it's a bunch of haunted doll beetles that infect the doll flesh and make it move? Regardless, I can still kick it, and I can kick it really, really hard. 10 out of 10, I will win this fight. What's it gonna do? Doll at me? Come on. Mothman. I ain't fighting Mothman. It's not going to be a fight. It's going to be a one-sided slaughter. Not saying that I would be able to slaughter Mothman. No, in fact, it'd be vice versa. I know that no plan, no tactic, no strategy would be able to penetrate Mothman's defense. I won't sit down and die like a dog, and I'll scrap with every ounce of strength that I have, but the Mothman will win in the end, and I'm confident of that. Overconfidence will lead to defeat. Cautious confidence will lead to defeat. Anything I do would lead to loss of limb and life. Point Pleasant won't be that pleasant once my blood and viscera are spread all around there like gore confetti. Zero out of ten. I will lose. I will fail. I will die. The Iowa Stick Man. A creature made of stick and wood, hiding the forests and fields of Iowa. He sneaks up into your backyard at night and tries to steal any food you've left out for passing animals. I will cover myself in birdseed, and the stick man will think I'm just a big delicious snack. And since my wife already thinks that I'm a snack, may so too then also will the stick man. Unlike my wife, however, the moment the stick man tries to take a bite, I'm gonna punch him so hard in the brain that it'll discombobulate him six ways from Sunday. He may get a scratch or a cut in, but I'm gonna punch wood like it's Minecraft. He's going in the Brenventory. 9 out of 10. I will win. With only cosmetic damage. Did I miss a cryptid or creature? Do you want to know my battle plans for a ferocious creature that may or may not cross my path? Let me know in the comments, but do it in a really smart alecky way so that I know that you know more than me. Thanks for watching. Please check out my other videos. There are also things. I stream often on Twitch over at twitch.tv slash Brendaniel, and there are also a ton of videos that you can check out over on Brendaniel too. Happy Halloween! I'm going to destroy you.